Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video we will see how to create a crossword in Excel using VBA macros. And this is how it looks like. You will have a theme here with the words, the description, these are the hints for each word in the puzzle. Then you have the puzzle with the legend for each hint here, for, for, for each word, and the solution over here. So simply by clicking this button and running the macro you get a, a, a completely new crossword each time with that set of words. Of course, you can change the, the, the words. You can have several themes, wherever, wherever you like. So th that's what we're going to see. We're going to see in this video how to create this. And the way we'll do it is basically the same that we did in a previous video to generate word search puzzles. I'm going to leave the link up here if you haven't seen it. But that was a simple one. If you want a solid word search generator, have a look at word search pro for Excel. And here you can create puzzles of any size with a different number of options here uh, from different themes. Um, you can add your own themes, of course. You can have it in your own language. And then you can easily save both puzzle and solution as a picture or export to Word to create your own puzzle books for Amazon Kindle, for example. But now let's go back to our crossword puzzle. And this is specifically a free form crossword. So there are different types of crossword puzzles, right? Let's start from a blank workbook. And the first thing we'll do is to format the sheet. We're going to have a row height of, let's say, around 14, column width 2. We're going to have, and I'm going to keep the grid lines for now. Now here, create crossword. The first thing we'll do is to clear in the use range the contents and the format. And then we call again format sheet. And then we're going to set, let me declare here a variable RNG as a range. We're going to have a range where we want to work with. So let me, so let's say I'm going to have it here. F6 to AP25. So this means from somewhere here to AP25. 25 this is more or less this is more or less where we're going to start working with the crossword but it can happen that we have a, a word here and it it goes out of this its range it's, it's just approximate so and we're going to have the words in in another sheet so here we will have the words and i'm going to have here animals so it's going to be a crossword with animals we we then we will have here the the description with the whatever hint we want to give to the player to find the word. And notice this is in alphabetical order. Let's leave it for now, but we could rather have it starting from longest words to shortest. That would be better, but, but let's, let's leave it for now like that. So now we're going to start a loop for word row equals two, because the first word is in row two, two, two as many words as we have. Let's start just to three. We're going to see how, how we place the first and second word for now. Then our word is in sheet two, range A, and row, word, row, dot value. Okay, so, so we are talking about here, from two to to 20 but let's let's just start picking the first two words so that you see how this works so to place the first word is easy and we have to differentiate that with if word row equals 2 then so here we're going to we're going to put the first word add very first word or something like this and we're going to simply get a random row with the integer of R and D times, let's say, 10 rows starting in row four. Same for the column. Let's say here, we're gonna have 10 starting in, in column 10, for example. Then we're gonna also have a direction. So it can either be one or two, plus one or two, where one will be horizontal 
and two will be vertical direction. And now we're going to call another macro, add word, which is going to add the word in row R column C or starting in the cell, starting from the cell in row R column C and in the direction. One will be horizontal, two will be vertical. So now before we see how we add the word, so the next time else we will follow a different process to add the following word. So that will be else and here is where, where we will add the following words. So we're going to see this later, but let me end the if here and move to the next word row. So we have for now completed this macro and this loop, which is going to add the first word. So let's move now to another module to create this add word macro. Let me copy this. And here, sub add word with those four uh, variables. And here we follow the process that we use with word search generator. So we're going to have for n, for example, from 1 to the length of the word, so length word, then we will have here next n. We're going to get each letter, let's call it letter, with the mid function of the word, comma, n, comma, one character. And now, if the direction is one, is horizontal, we are going to have each letter in row R and in column C plus n minus one. Minus one because we start with n equals one and we need to start in column at column C. The value is the letter. And we can also add borders to that cell. So I will come here, say borders, line style, Excel continues. Now else, of course this is direct equals two. There are no other possibilities. We do the same, so I'm going to just copy paste this, but now we are placing the word in vertical position. So now it's R, the row R plus N minus 1, the column is always C. We can end the if statement here. Hopefully that's clear enough. So now let me go back to module 2 where we have the create crossword. And if I run it now, it's going to run only for uh, for the two first words. And it's not it's only going to do something for the first word. Nothing will happen because we still don't have anything here. But let me let me run it. And as you see, the word has been added. This was the random column and row chosen row six column B. Um, and then it started adding each letter. Direction was two, is vertical, to each cell here and added the borders. Okay, so now let's see how we add the following words. And this is probably the most complicated part of the program. And this will happen here. We're going to loop for each cell in this range, R and G, but only through those cells with, with content. So we will use cell type constant. Then we're going to use the in-string function to see if the value in that cell, the letter in that cell, matches any of the letters in the next word. And we get the position of that letter. So let's call it pause, in-string, in the next word with the cell value. So basically this is going to loop in that range, uh, whatever range we, we had, it's going to find, so the first letter it will find, the, fir the first cell with content will be this one. And we could actually do this randomly, but let's leave it for now, this is simplified. Then it will see in the next word, which is going to be 
giraffe, if there is any letter with the C, and there is not, so it will keep looping H and then finally would get to I and it will see yes there is a letter in giraffe the I is in the second position and with in string function and with in string function we will get that position post will be two for the word giraffe which is the second word so if post greater than zero that's where we check if there is a letter in common then we determine the direction of this word and to to do that one way to do it is based on we are now in cell in the yellow cell so we're gonna check one cell below if it has content is in vertical position if not is in horizontal direction so we would do that with if cell offset one below zero is empty, then the first word is in vertical position. Our next word is going to be in horizontal position, so direct one. And if it's horizontal, direct one, then the starting row is going to be the same row, cell.row, but the starting column is going to be cell.column minus the number of letters till the letter in common, which is determined by post, plus one. And else, so direction is two, it's, it's going to be vertical, then we will have the same column, but the row will be cell row minus position plus one. We can end the if statement here and then we can now call add word for that word starting in row R column C and in the direction. And this is gonna be the macro that we've done earlier to add a word. And then we can exit this for loop actually. End the if statement here and don't forget about the next cell. So when, when this happens, we will exit that for and it will go for the next word. So let's run it now and see. So you see it has added the first word in vertical position. It found the common letter and then added the second word to cross with that letter in horizontal direction. Now, there are a couple of things we need to add, of course, uh, this is very simple, but we will do that in the next video. Thanks for watching.